Hey there, I'm Sharon Pope. I help women who are struggling in lonely and disconnected marriages get the confidence and clarity they need to either fix the struggles in their marriage or be able to move forward without regret. If you like what you hear, I hope you'll subscribe to the channel. So today we're talking about why you won't be the same person on the other side of divorce should you choose that path as you are today. So what are the top five stressors that we can face in life? Divorce, moving, illness or injury, thank you very much COVID, death of a loved one, or job loss. Now I've had clients where they lost a parent, they're navigating or considering divorce and they have to move at the same time. So that's a lot of stress all at once. And the thing I want you to know is that the challenges that we face change who we are. I want you to think about it for a second. Go back to being the person you were before you had kids. Go ahead, I'll wait. Because it's not gonna happen. You can't go back to being the person you were before you had kids because changes like that change the trajectory of our lives and who we are, right? So in my own life, I thought that when I navigated my divorce 12-ish years ago, that it would be this one thing in my life that I would keep isolated and contained and everything else around it would just continue to go on as it always had been. And what I can tell you is that there is not a single area of my life that went untouched by my divorce, right? Every relationship that I had changed. The relationship I had with my parents changed. The relationship I had with many of my friends and extended family absolutely changed. My career changed. I thought, no problem. I can do this job with my eyes closed. I was in corporate marketing at the time. And thankfully, I kind of could because there were days because I was struggling so much through my divorce that there's no way I should have been making million dollar decisions like I was. I probably shouldn't have even been behind the wheel of a car now that I think about it. And for sure, my divorce changed my relationship to myself. You know, walking through something like that, divorce, and then having to own your part of it and heal those wounds that were created as a result of that relationship only to open my heart again, get it broken a couple times, and continue to remain open to the possibility of the kind of loving, connected relationship that I really wanted and desired for my life, that changed me, right? It changed how I showed up for myself and in all of my relationships. It humbled me. I became much more introspective and for sure I showed up differently. And that's when I found more personal growth and even spiritual teachings at that time. It is also around that time that I began writing and journaling. It was mostly just as therapy for myself to be able to make sense of all that was happening in my life and all the changes that I was experiencing. I ultimately ended up leaving my corporate job and started my coaching practice. And the rest, as they say, is history. By far, navigating that divorce was the most difficult time in my life, but it was also the time in my life when I experienced the most profound growth and change. And that's why I'm so grateful for it today. Now, who I look like, <laughs> And how I show up today is nothing like the woman that I was 12, 13, 15, 20 years ago. And that's just the way that it works. So should you choose to navigate divorce, I want you to know that who you are on the other side of divorce won't be the same woman who you are as you stand here today. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. If you'd like a guide for that journey, or even just to figure out if divorce is the only answer for your heart, your life, and your mind, then I want you to go to clarityformymarriage.com. That's where you can find out if there's a fit for you and I to work together. I hope this was helpful for you. 
If you liked what you heard, I hope you'll subscribe to the channel. Until next time.